Alright guys, I got one here that I'm doing a little bit differently than I do normally, but what we're looking at here is an address for a house I'm about to show you that I just learned was filmed in my neck of the woods here. And we're talking about the Castle House in 1994 movie Blank Check. As you can see here, it says the house was built in 1926, but I'm going to show you something here in a second. Let's get out and I'll show you more. This is off the intersection or the cross streets of Green Lanes and Wooldridge Drive, Austin, Texas. This is, the, this is in the, uh, the Windsor neighborhood in Austin, Texas. And here, In real life, it's called the Pemberton Castle. And it's a Texas historical landmark. See, here it shows... Oh, okay. It began being built in the 1890s. But it was actually uh, converted into a... Well, there it is right there, the 1920s. So that, that page I showed you there earlier was correct. It is a 1928 build. And this is the house here to my right. So Preston... He's the kid that comes across the, the blank check and he writes, he forges it for a million dollars and the first thing he buys is this house. Now, yeah, it's a little jarring because the, the castle house looked completely different than it does in the movie. There you go. You can't even really see it. But there's a lot of growth all over the castle, all over the house. There's a Will Drive sign. A Will Drive sign there. But, um, so once we move to the left, you'll be able to see more. And I'll bring in uh, clips to match the best, best that I can. But it's crazy how much, the, how, the, how it's just let go. Wow, it's crazy. It's just like a, a, a moss looking covered house, if you will. But, um, fun fact here, which makes this even cooler. The director, Robert Rodriguez, bought this house, I believe, in 2006 and still lives here. If you all know Robert Rodriguez, he's the director of From Dust Till Dawn, Planet Terror. He's teamed up with Quentin Tarantino on a few projects, but primarily that, that uh, double feature, Grindhouse double feature he did in 2007, Planet Terror. He lives right here. And uh, to confirm that even more, I was talking to a uh, uh, mail carrier. He was on his route here, and uh, I was actually trying to find Preston's house, which in the movie, it's stitched together to look like basically Preston's driveway is right in, right in this area, because in the scene later where um, Preston's dad's backing out of the driveway, there's all of these, these, uh, these trucks that are bringing in... Uh, water slides and uh, all the stuff that, that Preston buys to put in the back of the house which unfortunately we're not going to see Robert's castle has lots of cameras attached to it but it, that, sh that scene the shot is from about right here right in the middle of the road and you can see all the trucks and um, Preston's dad's in the middle of all of it and he's like trying to figure out what's going on why are you blocking my driveway and they're like well they're working for Mr. McIntosh and anyway um, toward the beginning of the film you see Preston actually come on his bike which makes me, thought, makes me think that the house is over here he comes riding out here and he sees the house here now later on I know there's a um, a shot where he approaches it on his bike from this angle and it's like from down here kind of like that and you can see the the for sale sign right there on the grass kind of like that of course you can't see much of the castle because it's covered but anyway back to what I was saying is the mail carrier I was talking to him to try to see if he could I showed him a picture of Preston's house if you can tell me where um, if he if he knew where it was because you know this he works this route 
what better person to know to know the area than a milk area, right? Uh, I mean, I was showing him a picture of a house from 1994, and a lot of these houses have have been remodeled and whatnot, especially this one. But anyway, um, he's uh, he's like, yeah, he didn't know Robert Rodriguez actually lived here. And when I told him, he's like, oh wow, you know, uh, he actually had a package for Robert Rodriguez, and he's like, I'm about to go walk that over to his house. It's like a special drop-off spot over there in the front. And I was like, does it actually say Robert Rodriguez on the on the package? Sure enough, he showed it to me, and it said Mr. Robert Rodriguez and the address. So I was like witnessing this mail carrier about to deliver a package to director Robert Rodriguez right in front of Robert Rodriguez's house from blank check. I mean, so cool. So that, that just confirms Robert Rodriguez still does live here. Um, and maybe he let this he let this go, uh, let it grow for privacy. Because you got fools like myself that are doing this, right? With cameras. But um, this is it. This is a uh, this is uh, Pimbleton Castle, Austin, Texas. It's it's valued at about I think I saw I saw a price for four and a half million. Then I also saw one for about five point four million. Um, last sold in two thousand six. So there's the shot from there's the house from nineteen ninety four, and there's the house today. One thing I do want to point out, though, is if you look to the left of the, my phone, that screenshot, you can see, like, there was, like, an extended part of the castle that was protruding from the, what would, what looks to be, what would be, act as the front door to the castle. That's not here today. So, either that was there then, or it has been... It was part of the production. They just added it, which I'm going to think. I'm going to guess this is the latter. They would have uh, connected this piece, this attachment, right here, and had the door there to make it look like it's the front door. And it's kind of like around that angle. But um, yeah, it's not there. So probably part of the part of the set. And he bought this thing for three hundred thousand dollars. Make that three. <laughs> Uh, now this is 1994, but I'm pretty sure even in 1994, this thing was probably going for uh, at least I would think at least about a million dollars, but 300 k not a bad investment at all. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find no luck on finding Preston's house, so I've been kind of walking around this neighborhood long enough. Before I leave, here's another shot from right in front or what was the front of the house in the movie and this is it today it's kind of sad huh so I was just reading uh, that Preston's house is supposedly next door to the castle house and the story but when you match when you look at the shot of his dad coming out of the house, that obviously is not it. He's pulling out of the driveway, and he's right there in front of the castle house. That one I just showed you is definitely not it. I'll turn around, I'll look at the house on the other side next door. I scoured the, the neighborhood a little bit, and I um, asked a couple residents Showed them a picture of the house, see if they can help me. But no one no one knew exactly where the house was. Again, it could have been remodeled since, but here's the other house. To the next the other next door house to the right of it. So here's a shot of Preston's house. We've got a, a live oak to the right. And this would be the house right next to the castle house. To the right. And as you can see, it doesn't really match. And there's two trees. Now you can see this house from the angle shot from over there where Preston is coming around the corner on his bike. And he rides toward the house that way. This clip here, you can see that pole right there. It's kind of a bummer because I know I'm in the I know I'm in the neighborhood. They've got they had to have used one of these houses for um, 
Preston and his family's house. Thank you. And tomorrow, I'll tell you all about Mr. Matthews.